with our series on teens. Lately, we've seen how much teens have been abusing drugs. We've seen how much they, you know, they indulge in drug abuse. If you're in universities, you know how much students get themselves into disciplinary because of drug abuse. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Mary Mugo. And this is where we inspire you. This is where we educate you. This is where we positively affect lives, businesses, and the society. Joining me today is Dr. Gordon Abayo, who is a consultant psychiatrist with the Avenue Healthcare, Bangladesh Plaza, Nairobi. And today we want to talk about various issues to do with drugs. And we want to answer for you key questions that you could be asking as a parent, as a guardian. We want to answer for you the question number one, what are the signs that you can look for or what will tell you as a parent that your child is actually on drugs? Yeah? We will tell you what to do if you realize that your child is on drugs. We will also tell you how to tell which drug your child is using. And number four, we will tell you how to prevent drug abuse in your home. Mm. Yeah. And when we talk about drugs, we are talking about marijuana, we are talking about cocaine, we are talking about heroin, we are talking about hallucinogens, we are talking about blue aerosols and vapors and many more that you will get in this video. Mm. Hey, if you've not subscribed, hey, hit the subscribe button and the bell. And listen to the end because this is about your child, it's about your nephew, it's about your niece, it's about your granddaughter, your grandson. Yes, it's about your neighbor. So this is for you. Don't say that, oh, you know, my children cannot, oh, you will be shocked about the signs that you hear in this video because there are those things that you think are normal. There are those things that you easily ignore. Hey, keep it locked and listen to the end. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Ambayo. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mary Mugo. My name is Dr. Gordon Ambayo. I'm a consultant psychiatrist. I'm currently a lecturer and the chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at Kenya Methodist University. Uh, Meru Campus. I'm also a consultant psychiatrist with Avenue Healthcare based at the Avenue Nairobi Town Clinic, which is at uh, Barclays Plaza on Loita Street, fourth floor. Let me give you a synopsis of what the doctor is talking about. Ensure you listen to the end. And before you even continue, hey, if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, and share this video as much as you can. A few signs here that the doctor is talking about in this video. They're actually those things that sometimes you take like they are normal. Mm -hmm. Are we together? The children begin to break the family rules. The children bring, uh, begin to sleep more than usual. Some of them have unexplained bruises on their arms. Others are hyper in terms of activity. Others are easily irritable. Huh? Hey, you want to know more signs? Listen to the end. And this is the place to be. How can you tell? that your teenage child is uh, using drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, this is a very frightening uh, thing to imagine or learn that your child 
might be using drugs or alcohol. Uh, drug abuse in teenagers is a very real problem and we really need to arm ourselves with the adequate knowledge to tackle this uh, problem. Mm -hmm. Drug use in teens can cause complications throughout the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. As a parent or guardian, it is vital to understand uh, the signs of drug abuse and how to address them. Mm -hmm. The signs of abuse in teens is, uh, or adolescent uh, are changes in normal habits. There could be a change in your teen's regular habits. Uh, maybe that, we, that may be the first sign you notice. However, these changes are often easy to ignore because they seem to be isolated events. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may also only notice something is wrong when you see several of these together. Some of the signs are uh, breaking family rules, mm -hmm. uh, sleeping more than usual, mm -hmm. and uh, also we may have changes in physical appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, physical changes will vary depending on what substance the individual is using, mm -hmm. and they may be hard to spot. However, look for bloodshot eyes. Alcohol, cocaine, and marijuana causes bloodshot eyes. There could be unexplained bruises, wounds, or scars uh, more often on the arms because teenagers using drugs and alcohol easily engage in fights mm -hmm. when under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Mm -hmm. Some of them will start putting on long sleeve uh, shirts even in hot weather when they used to put on t-shirts and the other short sleeve uh, uh, shirts to hide uh, scars on the arms. Most of these scars uh, are normally due to uh, injecting themselves with cocaine. Mm -hmm. Other changes uh, in physical appearance are careless personal hygiene mm -hmm. or disheveled appearance. Mm -hmm. You may also have soot on fingers or lips uh, due to smoking. They could also have shaking tremors, especially when they have taken alcohol for a long time mm -hmm. and unusual smell on clothes. Uh, mm -hmm. or bad breath. They might chew gum or eat mains to mask this uh, bad breath. There could be nose bleeding or runny nose uh, without any cold. Extreme hyperactivity mm -hmm. and excessive talkativeness, mm -hmm. which may be unusual from their usual habits. Mm -hmm. They could be slowed or staggering walking. Mm -hmm and uh, poor physical coordination. Mm -hmm. As I've said earlier, there could be needle marks on the arms or legs or feet, depending on where they used to inject themselves. Mm -hmm. Some of them may have report nausea, vomiting, or excessive sweating, mm -hmm. uh, uh, tremors or shaking of hands, and use of deodorants at odd hours, or excessive use of deodorants if they normally use them. Mm -hmm. There could be also some secretive uh, behaviors. Uh, some people are more withdrawn, Mm -hmm. and uh, introvert by nature. And this may be normal for your child, but when extrovert uh, children start uh, getting quiet mm -hmm. or our introvert child withdraws even further, it's mm -hmm. time to take a closer look. Mm -hmm. So here are some of the behaviors you'd be, be able to recognize. Mm -hmm. The child may be going out at night mm -hmm. uh, a bit uh, excessively or disappearing for long hours uh, during the daytime. Mm -hmm. Locking doors to their rooms and also avoiding eye contact when you're with them. Mm -hmm. There could be also incidences of stealing household items mm -hmm. and selling them at throwaway prices mm -hmm. uh, for money to purchase uh, drugs. Some of the children also cheat their parents uh, to get uh, more money pocket money than they usually get. Mm -hmm. They could use uh, some unexisting school trips mm -hmm. uh, that they have been told by the, the headmaster or the principal to get money for a school trip, which is uh, also not non-existent. Mm -hmm. Now, there could be other changes in the home. Mm -hmm. uh, if you search the rooms of your children, you may come across uh, containers or wrappers of drugs. 
and then also other drug paraphernalia like smoking devices, mm -hmm. eye drops may be also be available there because they want to change their bloodshot eyes mm -hmm. using these eye drops. Mm -hmm. uh, cigarette lighters and uh, syringes may also be in the, you know, found in their rooms. Mm -hmm. If you give your children cars, there could be dents on the car, which mm -hmm. are uh, unexplained because sometimes they get accidents mm -hmm. when they are drunk. Mm -hmm. Also, sometimes you may have missing prescription drugs, uh, also over-the-counter drugs or alcohol in the rooms of these children. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do if you suspect a child is or a teen is having uh, taking drugs? Mm -hmm. Ask questions directly before you make mm -hmm. or accuse the, uh, them. Mm -hmm. Give them a chance to explain the situation. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to ask simple but difficult questions, such as, "Are you using drugs? Mm -hmm. What drugs have you used exactly? Mm -hmm. If they are using drugs, mm -hmm. have they taken alcohol?" Also be prepared for what you are going to say if they tell you they don't abuse drugs, but you suspect they are abusing the drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if your teen denies using drugs or alcohol, but you strongly suspect they are not being honest with you, you can have them screened for substance through a doctor. You can also have all uh, the screening done uh, by addiction counselors mm -hmm. in addiction centers or mm -hmm. child psychologists. Mm -hmm. The other things you can do is set uh, ground rules and for the children. If the child is using drugs or alcohol, the first step is to make sh real changes in their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And this should include use of uh, uh, restricting the use of the cars if you have a, a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And if they are already licensed, it is important that you withdraw the right of them to drive by withdrawing their licenses. Mm -hmm. uh, do not allow your under child to break government rules on driving age. Mm -hmm. Several parents have done this and the children have uh, ended up uh, having accidents when they are drunk and some of them have died. Mm -hmm. Now, you also have signs, uh, certain signs and symptoms of intox intoxication by particular drugs which you can detect. Mm -hmm. I'll start with marijuana. Mm -hmm. Marijuana leads to red eyes, mm -hmm. uh, loud talking, inappropriate laughter, mm -hmm. when there's nothing to laugh about, mm -hmm. and followed by sleepiness. Mm -hmm. Now, a sweet burn scent, uh, which they use to mask, uh, uh, and they use uh, chewing gums to mask these scents and loss of interest. Mm -hmm. Long-term use of marijuana also lead to lack of motivation. Mm -hmm. Some of them gain weight because marijuana improves appetite. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them put excessive energy on physical activities like digging. If you give them a, a physical tasks like digging, they will put in more than usual energy than they normally use. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to alcohol. Alcohol leads to clumsiness, difficulty walking, mm -hmm. uh, slurred speech, mm -hmm. uh, sleepiness, poor judgment, vomiting, mm -hmm. increase or decreased appetite for food. Mm -hmm. uh, small quantities of alcohol mm -hmm. normally leads to increased appetite. But uh, consumption of a large quantity of alcohol leads to loss of appetite. Mm -hmm. So if you start seeing such signs in your child, you should be a lot that your child may be abusing alcohol. Mm -hmm. They may also have elated mood in inappropriate circumstances. Mm -hmm. And uh, odor of alcohol may also be there. And again, they may use chewing gum and uh, mint to etc. to mask the, the bad odor of alcohol. Mm -hmm. When you go to cocaine, Met methamphetamines and other stimulants, mm -hmm. uh, the children may exhibit hyperactivity in the house. Mm -hmm. They may be euphoric, mm -hmm. easily irritable. They may show anxiety and excessive talking, followed by periods of depression mm -hmm. or excessive sleeping at odd times. Mm -hmm. They may also go for long periods without eating because some of these stimulants uh, reduce appetite mm -hmm. and later on 
uh, they also relax sleep because some of these stimulants uh, suppress sleep. And then later on, because they had lack sleep at the right time, they may sleep for longer hours during the daytime. Mm -hmm. They may also have weight loss because of loss of appetite, uh, dry mouth, and also present. Mm -hmm. When you go to heroin, uh, you'll see needle marks, uh, sleep at unusual times, sweating, vomiting, coughing, sniffing, twitching, loss of appropriate, uh, loss of appetite. And if you are a medical person, you can check the pupils with a, a torch and you find there is no response to light by the pupils. Mm -hmm. Then if they're using depressants, including barbiturates and tranquilizers, mm -hmm. the children might seem drunk, but you may not get the smell of alcohol mm -hmm. uh, from their breath. Mm -hmm. The also have difficulty in concentrating mm -hmm. and clumsiness, poor judgment, slurred speech, sleepiness, and contracted pupil if you check on the pupils. Mm -hmm. Some may also use inhalants, glue, aerosols, and vapors. Mm -hmm. uh, these uh, children may have watery eyes, impaired vision, mm -hmm. uh, poor memory, secretion from the nose, or rashes around the nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. They may also complain of headaches on and off, and nausea, mm -hmm. and appearance of intoxication, drowsiness, anxiety, and irritability. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're using hallucinogens, these mm -hmm. are drugs like pencyclidine, or known as PCP in a, in a uh, brief, and uh, lysergic acid diethylamide, also known as LSD. Mm -hmm. The children may have uh, bizarre and irrational behavior, including paranoia, mm -hmm. uh, accusing other people of uh, being after them. They could be aggressive. They may also have hallucinations. Mm -hmm. Hallucinations means they're having a uh, perception without any stimuli. And this may be manifest as hearing voices or seeing things, images, or images that other people are not seeing. They may have mood swings. They may detach from other people, mm -hmm. and uh, they may also have slurred speech and confusion. Mm -hmm. Now we come to prevention. How do you prevent uh, drug abuse amongst your children? Mm -hmm. Now, drug abuse prevention starts with the parents or the guardians. If you are a parent or a guardian, you should take charge of preventing drug abuse. Mm -hmm. Prevent your teenage from engaging in alcohol or and drug uh, consumption by discussing these issues when they are in the early adolescent age. Mm -hmm. If you wait too late, they may have influence from their peers. And uh, many of these children encounter a lot of peer pressure, mm -hmm. uh, which make them start experimenting. And then with that experimentation, they become addicted. Mm -hmm. Now, if you as a parent or guardian as alcohol and drug addiction uh, problem, mm -hmm. then you're not a role model to your children. Mm -hmm. So teaching your children may not uh, uh, add value mm -hmm. and they will not take you seriously. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that you take your child to an addiction counselor or a psychologist for education on prevention of alcohol mm -hmm. and drug abuse. Mm -hmm. Avoid storing alcohol and drugs mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. as your children may uh, get access to these drugs and uh, start using them. Mm -hmm. So if you are storing these drugs, you should stop uh, storing them in the house mm -hmm. and also uh, stop uh, sending your children to places where they can uh, buy these drugs for you. Mm -hmm. And also don't attend entertainment places uh, and bars where alcohol is being sold uh, with their children because mm -hmm. they will take this as normal mm -hmm. and uh, it will be difficult for you to uh, change them from doing this. Mm -hmm. Now, other strategies as you know, your teen's activities, pay attention to your teen's whereabouts. Mm -hmm. and establish rules and consequences of, of breaking these rules. Mm -hmm. 
also you take interest in your teen's friends, know them and know their character. Mm. Uh, keep track of prescription drugs and provide support. If your child is in a boarding school, please pay regular visit to the, to the schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, do not go, uh, uh, do not be away from home excessively long. Mm. Be present in, in the family so that you can spend quality time with your children. Mm. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is the advice I have for parents. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for listening. Wow, wow. Uh, parents, guardians, re teachers, lecturers, you have heard it all from the expert. And those are signs that you can easily see. Those are things you can easily control. And so the onus is on us parents, guardians, teachers, lecturers, for us to prevent this kind of behavior that has become very rampant. Thank you, Dr. Ambayo, for your time. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, like this video, share this video, help as many parents as you can, and of course, subscribe. God bless you. Thank you.